Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's take a look at the new Christmas Lars unit that just dropped today. Let's get right into it. All right, so Lars is coming in mainly as a DPS role. Uh, he's a little confused and I guess we'll see that in a moment, but we are seeing top tier attack, a benchmark that was set in August with the Fest units, 11,000 something, and pretty high HP coming in over 100,000. So that's really nice. The character skill. Huge multiplier on a five hit, even huger if you're using dark. Increase your own dark damage 50% for 60 seconds. So 50 is a lot and 60 is a long time. Really cool. That means in the right scenario, you can double stack that guy. Lots of dark buffing going on. You're gonna need it because he's got no damage passives. Instead, What, what, what? Okay, so first of all, 60%, it's the highest number we've seen yet, the cool. But why, why is it on him, why? 60% timed, that's the problem, because timed edgy maxes out at 100, no matter what, and we've had uh, several units that have 50, and all you need is two weapons to bring it to 100. Okay, so I'm racking my brain here. I'm racking my brain. Um, he can use a 10% timed debris and only need one weapon and then be able to have max, max, max CDR. Okay. Um, you know, we just got Mech Gale, who is also a dark one-hand sword uh, edgy rusher. And she has a pursuit passive, 40%. So, sure, you can roll, you know, Karma and get that Bold Vigor uh, if you want him to be an Agi Rusher, but it's only 20 and it's not going on top of anything else. So, kind of lacking compared to the other Agi Rushers who can also achieve 100% Agi. Um, I guess, you know, again, you could have max CDR subs. And, and or maybe you, your greed sub instead of being edgy is, you know, just pure damage. And that allows you to squeeze in the damage that he's lacking from not having a damage passive. Um, I'm reminded of the recent gun. I think it was on uh, Shadowbound Seraphas banner. It's a gun that has Pursuit and Vigor. 20% Pursuit. So something like that could go on the other sub if you want him to be an edgy rusher, but... I don't know, I think he's, his kit is just kind of confused. This Void Drive is, uh, you know, it's okay. It's just, I don't know. It'd be really cool if it was like caged, which is another point I want to make it. Okay, you're gonna put, you're gonna put that um, Bold Vigor to make him a edgy rusher, but you know, wouldn't you rather have the caged to have him as a dark DPS? You know, especially on like a wave two where uh, you could, you can overlap that uh, that character skill to get more dark damage buff. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you still want to use best feel there anyway. Here's another bummer. The A3 is Vigor, 25. That means that this value is reflected by this, needing an A3 just to get that value to that competitive rate. Um, and uh, that means without it, uh, it's probably not gonna be looking that good. Okay, uh, let's see. Void Rush Debris. Mm. 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 Um, now, look at this. So, we're talking about making him a rusher. He already has a base of 1,200. That's crazy. So, you know, he could be, I guess, get to 100 easier. But if you don't have that debris, you're still going to need two weapons, and the 60 is kind of pointless. Um, but he has a higher base. So it, it could be a case where maybe you just really, really, really need someone to go first to get a character skill off first in Arena, if that's where you want to use him. Where, you know, he, it's going to be easy to outpace everyone. Personally, I really like the the flat, the ones with the flat passives, like Mech Gale and Priet. And at the moment, Mech Gale, because she's the only one with Karma. And then you can stack 
edgy weapons on her, she can't have, you know, as short of cooldowns when you do that. But if you really need someone to just act first, and you have Gale and then she's strong as hell, and when you when you do stack all that timed edgy on her, you know, you're able to, like, if you have refined subjugation weapons, you're able to get way more bold vigor out of the deal. She's just lethal. So, I don't know, Lars. I, I wanted to like him. Uh, what I was really hoping for was uh, swiftness. Either the new 8% or maybe a newer 10% swiftness. I would love to... Man, I would have been pulling for him if he had dark swiftness. Void swiftness. Uh, but not even a YOLO. Not even a YOLO. For me, at least. Uh, okay, usual offensive stuff here. Uh, we're missing the pursuit here. No pursuit option. Instead, we have 8% um, dark damage. Um, it's not the greatest value. Uh, I guess that's pretty good. Maybe I'm thinking of a recent one that was like party-wide. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Then just the bold and caged. And then the typical stuff here. No, no agi <laughs> option there. Okay. And, all right, the weapon. So this is a great main hand. We do have the EX Dark Sword, which is really nice as a one-hand sword DPS option. But we have another here, and it's it's kind of like this format, where you have, a, like, a buffing skill here. This is Dark Damage when you're using Proficient. 110 on a four hit. That's really nice. And then, like, a caged skill here. 60 is a ton and then uh, lower your HP. So that, that's dynamic. That means you have to get all the way down to 1 HP to get that 60%. 90%. Dial back a little bit on a 5 hit, but that's because we have this crazy caged value. And if you play your cards right, you're going to be capping in subjugation on that skill. For sure. And um, yeah, I, general use case, you know, I, I, I think it'd be a competent... Yeah, a, a competent DPS... Subjugation, Fate Board. Um, it's just too bad about the Confused Kit with the Agi. I don't really want to use him as an Agi Rusher, but I'm interested in that we're seeing the higher values now. I'll tell you what I'm waiting for now that, we're see now that we've established this. I'm waiting for the next unit that has flat Agi 50 or 60, you know? Then, that, now we're cooking. Uh, should you pull? The, uh, so again, like, if you're really lacking dark DPS characters, uh, the recent ones that we've had, uh, for example, uh, we had Yuri in the spring, I believe, and she's got a four hit only, but it's like, well, it's kind of like a Sino Akeha, it's like a huge multiplier. So Yuri's still good, but she kind of suffers the same problem, but uh, I think she has caged on an A3 at least. And then uh, Celeb Yuzuki, it's got that Void Pursuit passive, and that's awesome. And then there's, uh, well, you know, Abyss Gale, she's got the cooldown penalty. Uh, Christmas Priet, still good, and actually has the, the um, she has Karma now, and she has the caged uh, A3. So, yeah, he's, you know, with that huge multiplier, you're going to be capping with him, and so... That could be a reason you have a surplus of gems and tickets and you don't really have good dark DPS. Then maybe Lars is your boy. And if Lars is your boy in general, that could be a reason to pull. There's nothing wrong with pulling for your favorites. And if you really are lacking an arena rusher and right now is the time for you to get one, maybe. But he's lacking power even though he has that attack. And again, he needs that A3 even for the attack to be there. But he's got no... Uh, multipliers like Pursuit or Bold Vigor or anything like that that he could benefit from as a rusher. So if you really need someone to act first and you don't have anyone else and you have a surplus of gems, that's the only <laughs> only reason I would say to pull him. Um, I was hoping for more, you know. Uh, it's okay, we got, we got, you know, two more Christmas units coming up and New Year's after that. So maybe it's a, it's a blessing to just be able to breathe and skip something. You know? And that's my advice to you. Hold strong. There's juicy stuff right around the corner. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think of Lars. And if you're pulling, best of luck to you. 
Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.